I really, really love it. I love it. Hi guys, it's Michelle and I'm just back here for a wee wig review today and the wig that I want to review is this beautiful bob that I'm wearing on my wee head. Yay! So this hair that I'm wearing today is called Mia. Mia is by Dimples and the shade that I'm wearing is called Cappuccino. So it's a kind of fun, short type wig and um, yeah, it's part of the Rose Collection. Um, so Dimples, before we go any further, you guys, you can follow them on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram at Dimples Hair and hashtag Dimples Wigs. Um, yeah, so this basically, I was sent this by Dimples. I didn't pay for this, I was sent this to try out and yeah so i kind of i had been going a bit blonde with wigs which i love and this just seemed like a beautiful shade that i really wanted to try so i was very kindly sent this thank you Sina. thank you dimples um this is it's called cappuccino so it's kind of very much just very neutral type brown um with some highlights through it some are slightly cool some are ever so slightly warm overall it's very much a neutral kind of tone of wig so um let me just talk about the wig so i'll turn around quickly sorry excuse the eye makeup i just did a crazy video um i'm going to turn around and let you guys see the back of this hair so this is just such a gorgeous wig it's really really beautiful now at the front as you can see the fringe bangs i'm going to pop the actual length dimensions of the wig just down here in this wee bar for you guys to have a wee look but um as you can see like on wearing it the bangs the fringe is definitely long it's not kind of short eye level so if you did want this cut into bangs or like a fringe that you would just wear you would have to go and actually get it cut because it is longer i actually love that i do really love that I actually get quite frustrated sometimes because a lot of shorter wigs or like bobbed wigs or whatever, I actually like to have long length, I like to have wigs kind of framing my face and coming around here to kind of bring my face in slightly um, and I just kind of think if you want a fringe you can cut it in but if it's already cut in for you you can't grow it out so I actually prefer them to come without a short fringe so yay good job dimples I do love this I've had this wig on oh as you even know I've worn it every day for the last kind of week or so um, and do you know I just really really love it so it is really beautiful as you can see now it does have a lace front on it so I will show you if you wanted to pull this wig back, obviously you can because we have this gorgeous lace front. As you can see, the lace front runs from approximately here to here, temple to temple really, just about that length. So that is really, really beautiful. Um, there is a double bone filament top on this Mia. So let me just separate and show you. There we go. So you can change your parting on this. If you like, I have it kind of left off centre. That's what I kind of like to do with my hair. Um, the mono top runs from here to here. So this is all mono top. So you can change the pattern within this kind of area. So yeah, it's really, really beautiful. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it off. I'll let you see the ear tabs, sorry, first of all. Ear tabs kind of run like this. And that's what we kind of have. Ear tab wise, really nice, really beautiful. Now let me take it off and I shall show you. So the inside of the cap, the back and sides are wefted. They are machine wefted, very standard kind of cap construction for the sides and the back of this. On the ear tabs we have this lovely soft velvety area. Then we have these wee polyurethane squares here where you can apply some wig tape for adherence to the sides of your head. If you like to do that, I don't do that. I don't feel you need to do that because they also have the moldable wires. And as you can see, I mean, I just bent that wire and look at the hair sticking. 
the whole tab does move and sticks very very well which is nice and although it's the thick wire inside you don't actually feel that against your skin whatsoever lovely that's good so we have the velcro kind of fasteners at the back here to tighten or loosen up your wig as you may or may not require we have polyurethane strip running along the nape of the neck here which is actually amazing i really quite like to have that i actually prefer silicone but um the polyurethane is brilliant as well you know it means if anybody wants to apply some wig tape you can stick that on there for some additional security Good job, dimples. Um, okay, so let's talk the double mono. <laughs> we have the double mono filament top. This is like silk against your skin. Ridiculously smooth, ridiculously comfortable. Just really, really lovely to wear. I do like that. Now we have this kind of silicone strip here. Now you can apply um, wig tape over here if you want um, to ensure the wig kind of adheres to your head better. I don't need to, I feel from a security point of view, even in a ridiculously windy day, this would hold so well, it's not going to go flying off your head. But I personally think anyway, um, you can tighten it up and it's very, very lovely. As you can see on the inside, that's, that's that kind of scalloped lace front. The only time I would generally use wig tape for me, obviously everyone's different, we all have our own preferences, but for me the only time I tend to use um, wig tape is Sometimes I will do it along a lace front of a wig if I'm going to tie that wig back, if I want to kind of pull it back, I will sometimes do that just to stop the lace from kind of coming up slightly. So anyway, by the by. So this is the cap construction for this Mia wig by Dimples, part of the Rose collection. Now it is made of acrylic fibre. What do I want to say? Pros and cons. Not really. Fact facts about the wig. Okay. So for me, it's comfortable to wear. I feel the size is very good. Sizing is good. Comfort is good. I love the double mint. Blah, 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 blah. I love the double monofilament top. I like the kind of silicone strip. I like the polyurethane on the ear tabs. I like the polyurethane on the nape of the neck. I've just stuck my finger right through that weft. Apologies. Um, I love the cut of the wig, I love the style of the wig, um, the length of it is beautiful, it's very kind of girly, fashionable, you can have it all really funky and messed up or you could have it nice and sleek and kind of professional looking, you know, it's, it's a lovely cut and it's very versatile. I love that. It comes in a range of different shades, you can check that out at www.dimplesusa.com. You can have a look, see what shades this comes in. This is called Mia. The only thing I would say about this that I'm not jumping for joy over wefts. That's absolute personal preference. It doesn't mean that's a bad thing. Please, please, please don't think I'm saying that's a bad wig or it's a bad thing about the wig. It's just that for me, I like a fully hand-tied cap on a wig. Wefted wigs. This wig looks amazing. And actually, if in all honesty, I would probably say this is the best short wig I think I've had to date. I mean I really love this. With this wig I will be wearing a bamboo wig liner underneath. I haven't, a couple of days I haven't. Generally I should because my skin just starts getting horrendous with any sort of anything touching it really. Um, but yeah, it's really really beautiful. It's a really gorgeous wig. Um, let me see what have people ask me. So we have the for the comparison that guys that you guys have asked me for, um, <coughs> mostly through the Alopecia UK Facebook group and private messaging me, basically you guys have asked for a comparison between this Dimples Mia and the Amori Reni of Paris Cody. So let's go for it. Going on my Cody that I owned, my Cody's that I owned, and going on this wee gorgeous Mia. Um, okay, so we have Dimples. Here and we have a body here. Okay, so the Mia wig by Dimples and the Cody wig by Amore Reni of Paris. So we have Mia and Cody. Okay, so Mia has double monofilament top. Excellent. Cody has double monofilament top too. Excellent. Mia has wefted sides and back. Cody also has wefted sides and back. Mia has the velvet ear tabs, but they have polyurethane on them to allow for some wig tape. 
my Cody, the, not off the polyurethane, but it did have the velvet ear tabs. At the nape of the Mia, we have more polyurethane. My Cody didn't. Lace front on the Mia, no lace front on the Cody. The Mia, generally, I would say is more standard average. I would say Cody is slightly a large average cap. Um, what else can we say? Yes, the Cody is slightly longer. This is ever so slightly shorter than Cody. Cody was a bit longer than this Mia. So they are similar, but not the same. Also, Mia has no bangs, it is length of wig. Cody has shorter bangs cut into it. So that would be a very, very quick rundown <laughs> from me. This also has a silicone strip along the front which I kind of like because it gives extra security and grip to my wee bald head. There you go. So guys, what do I love about this? Well, pretty much everything other than the wefts. I want to be honest, you guys know I'm not a fan of wefts. However, it's, it's, it's neither up nor down for me because I'll wear a bamboo wig liner and that's fine. Actually, because this has some silicone, what I've started to notice lately, when wigs are slightly more secure on my head and they're not as big, they're not rubbing, um, and if they've got silicone so that they kind of stay still on my head, it's perfect because then... So for me, like, when a wig is more secure and I have, like, when it's got silicone in it, it's more secure, it grips, there's less movement, so the wefts don't tend to rub my head, so my head doesn't get as irritated. So a slightly more snug, smaller kind of cap that's kind of more fitted to the shape of my head, I feel beneficial because even if there are wefts, if I have that and it has silicone, then it grips on, it stays still, and that's just, I just love that that is something that I really really love so much so yeah there you go um what else I have to say it's beautiful it's beautiful it does come in gorgeous colors I actually love this so much I would really love to try it and there's a gorgeous kind of very pale blonde with dark roots and I just think it looks so gorgeous so stunning this wig is beautiful this wig is versatile you can play with it you can I mean you can kind of like curvy it back, use bobby pins to pull it back and it, it does the way that it's cut it makes it actually look as though you have longer hair and you have just pinned it up whereas you don't, you've actually just got a short hairstyle so that's quite nice and um, you can obviously have it all messy like a mushroom or you can kind of have it more sleek, you can tuck it behind your ears, you can you just play with it, you treat it like your own hair, you do what you would do. Um, it is a lovely cut, it does allow for you to kind of personalise it and play with it. It's really lovely. So Dimples, I think you've done a great job um, in creating this wee baby Mia. <laughs> I really, really love it. I love it. So yeah, this is part of the Dimples Rose collection. It's a synthetic wig. It is acrylic. It is beautiful. So I just had a wee look at a couple of websites online that sell both the Cody and the Dimples. I've looked at three different websites there. I just pause the camera to go and have a look. And roughly, this is roughly about £40 cheaper on most websites. It's about £40 cheaper than the Amore Cody. Now, it's very difficult for me to say you know one is better than the other because I absolutely believe that with wigs unless you have a really badly made wig which you're never going to have from I I believe my experience so far I've never had a poorly made wig by Amori I've never had a poorly made wig by Dimples at the same on either so I believe both are brands that I would be happy to buy from I believe that the caps are going to be well constructed I believe that the quality is going to be good. This is going to be my personal experience. So I cannot say to you this is better or this is better because what I feel is good in a wig is maybe not what you feel is good. I kind of want to try and stay more factual. I obviously will always give my opinion and I will always give a totally honest opinion on wigs. I love this. If I was to go out tomorrow and I wanted to buy Bob's wig, would I buy this or a Cody? I would go out and I would buy another one of these. Purely because I like the lace front and I like that there are no bangs on this. I am so lucky, I am so honoured, I am so blessed and thank you Dimples, thank you, thank you, thank you Dimples, thank you once again 
for just another gorgeous wig. It's so beautiful. Um, guys, I just really, please, please, I recommend that you just check out the wigs. Like, I'm not saying you have to go and buy one. That's up to you. It's your money. It's your decision. But certainly bear it in mind for consideration when you're going for a wig. Um, check out Dimples on www.dimplesusa.com. And we have Facebook, we have Twitter, we have Instagram at Dimples Hair. This is not a sponsored video. I am not being paid to say this. I have not been told to say any of this. This is 100% my honest opinion. I was given this wig complimentary to review, to try, to wear, to let you guys know how it is. Yeah, Dimples, you know, I love this. I love it i love it i love it i love it yeah thank you guys for watching leave any comments any suggestions any anything if you have enjoyed this if you want to see more wig reviews from me then feel free to give me a wee thumbs up on the video and um, and yeah till next time i guess i am ofski so send lots of love bye guys